Good morning. My name is John Barr. I'll be your tour guide for today. I'd like to talk about one of the really cool, unique, interesting things that happened here at Wild Basin. In 1961, there was a fire. So basically, when you look around you, everything that you see was burned to the ground. And everything has come back in the years since then. Somebody was driving on St. Stephen's School Road uh, just west of us uh, before 360 was here, uh, before any of the other highways were here, before the homes were here, and they threw a cigarette out the window. Um, that cigarette started a small grass fire that was whipped by the winds, and um, eventually it burned from the Lake Austin on and on down to Bee Creek. Volunteer crews were brought out. They cut fire lines, so they were able to stop the fire more or less at Bee Creek. So when you look around here at Wild Basin, one of the neat things is to see and you know try and find signs of that fire. Other places in the basin, there's, there's stumps sitting up. There's even trees that are partially burned still standing. Uh, there's also one of the other interesting signs of the fire is the red oaks and some of the other uh, hardwood trees. They typically form, rather than a single trunk, they form a multi-trunk. And those are from root sprouts from the burned uh, original mother tree. It got burned to the ground and then those root sprouts came up and eventually became a multi-trunk tree. So as we're thinking about the way fire behaves in the hills around Austin, this tree is a very fascinating indicator of how the fire works. If you think about it, heat rises. So as a fire is rushing up a hillside, the fire is able to preheat the trees and branches and it will then catch those on uh, much faster. On this side of the, the ridge, the fire was moving downhill. So by looking at this tree, you can see the way the char is on the downhill side. You can also see as you go up the top and you look up, the rest of the tree is standing. So at this point in time, the fire was moving very slowly, very close to the ground. It was no longer a crown fire. And that's because we're on the downhill side of the fire. As the heat is rising, it's much more difficult to catch the next tree down the hill. A lot of times people think about wildfire being destroying or ruining or when describing the, the results of the fire. Here at Wild Basin you can see that the fire didn't ruin the landscape and instead it created it. One of the things that fire does is it burns the woody and brush down. So fire is an important part of uh, the ecosystem here as we're going along in the Wild Basin. I just want you to kind of take a look and see if you can see signs of the fire as you're doing your hike.